Hello everybody and welcome to Jeff the Pharmacist. So today I want to talk about a drug called Genuvia. So Genuvia is in a class of medications called DPP-4 inhibitors. And all that means is it's a medication that inhibits an enzyme in the body called DPP-4. Now DPP-4 is um, an enzyme responsible for breaking down glucagon-like peptide or GLP. So if you've watched any of my other videos and you're kind of nerdy like me, and you find this stuff interesting, um, there are medications that actually uh, are mimic GLP. They're like injectable pens like Victoza or um, Saxenda or Bieta. Uh, these medications uh, mimic GLP and their, their injections. Um, there's a whole backstory on how they came about with the um, discovering it in the saliva of the Gila monster. It's kind of a fascinating backstory. But Genuvia is, is similar to that in that it reduces your body's breakdown of your own GLP. So it increases your own natural GLP. And what GLP does is it increases insulin secretion um, from the pancreas. So that's pretty simple. Um, it's just one hormone that is responsible for kind of glucose homeostasis, basically regulating the glucose in the blood and keeping, um, you know, keeping your blood sugar sugars normalized. And obviously, you know, when you have diabetes, it's out of whack and that's what the medication does, try to compensate for that. Um, so Genuvi is actually very well tolerated. Um, unfortunately, it's very expensive. Uh, so if you wanted to pay cash for it to be over $400 a month, uh, I don't think it's worth it, um, to be honest. But, um, you know, if you have good insurance or, you know, you might be on the medication, it's pretty well tolerated as far as common side effects. Um, they're not real um, prevalent. Um, upper respiratory tract infection seem to be the um, most common um, hypoglycemia. Uh, which is almost almost all uh, diabetes medications can cause hypoglycemia. Um, Genuvia doesn't do it as much by itself, but when it's added to other medications, um, it can cause hypoglycemia. Um, some people got a cold and headache. So the common side effects aren't uh, super crazy. Um, it's things that we've heard before. Um, there are some rare adverse reactions that occurred in the post-marketing surveillance and that um, some of those are pretty terrible as they tend to be um, pancreatitis and some fa actual fatal cases of pancreatitis, um, kidney failure, um, and the drug is renally dosed and that means that if you are somebody that has uh, kidney problems, um, sometimes the, um, your prescriber will put you on Genuvia but they, they often, while well, they would have to reduce the dose depending on how good your kidneys work. Um, hypersensitivity reactions. Now anybody can become allergic to anything, um, but these reactions are kind of a, um, kind of above and beyond the uh, normal sort of allergic reactions that people experience. Um, you know, hives and, and throat swelling and stuff. There's something called Steven Johnson syndrome, which is this um, horrific kind of syndrome where people's skin peels back and um, it's just really disfiguring. Really a, a terrible reaction. Um, and it's very rare, but it's always notable because it is so bad. Um, another kind of odd one was uh, joint pain. People had really debilitating joint pain and um, the post-marketing surveillance was obviously very rare, but it did occur. Um, now in the um, package insert, um, Merck listed uh, heart failure because some of the other similar medications to Genuvia had issues with heart failure. They didn't see it in the Genuvia clinical trial, but since it was common with the other uh, medications it's something that is a concern or could potentially be a concern and um, a weird one is bullous pemphigoid so bullous pemphigoid are it's a syndrome where people get uh, blistering of the skin and it, it's really bad and um, 
uh, requires hospitalization and uh, patients are put on immunosuppressive drugs and stopped uh, and Genuvia is obviously stopped. Um, so these are some weird things that came up uh, after the drug had, had been on the market for a little while. Um, it didn't occur in the clinical trial and it's, uh, it is something that um, people should be aware of, you know, if they are on the medication that um, I don't think most people are, but it is something that, you know, if you're somebody who likes to be kind of in the loop about these things, these are some of the things that uh, came about. Um, so I think the bottom line on Genuvia is that it is well tolerated, um, but there are some kind of kind of disturbing things that came out in the post-marketing um, surveillance. Not so much that I don't think it's anything totally abnormal, but it is something to keep in mind. So I hope you guys found this interesting. I'm going to um, make a post on it on my web on my website uh, jeffpharmacist.com, where I'll talk about. Uh, Genovia a little bit and um, if there are any coupons or anything I always put that on on the website and um, any helpful links that um, I can find so I hope you all found this interesting um, if you did please give me a thumbs up please subscribe that would be super awesome I love to have um, new prescri uh, new subscribers <laughs> I want to thank you guys for watching thanks a lot